What's up, y'all? It's Jay Shep, aka Everyday Shooter here, back again with another one. Now, today I've got a AR that I <laughs> shoot. I've got an AR that I pieced together from my wife. Um, kind of had like a black and purple theme going, um, but I figured I'd use it as a guinea pig for my latest uh, attempt at a different type of Cerakote. And this is called gun candy. If you're not familiar with what gun candy is, it's like a metallic flake that you put into your clear coat. And once you put it into the clear coat, you spray it on top of a base coat that you've already laid down. And it gives you like a reflective, shiny type of finish. So this is my first time uh, working with it. Well, actually my second time. The first time I used the wrong kind of clear coat and it just, it was a disaster. So I just kind of scrapped it. Or whatever but this one i've tried it turned out a little bit better it's still i had some obstacles that as far as my gun my gun broke on me when i was doing it so this is the best i could come up with given the circumstance and when you spray on cerakote it's like you got like a 24-hour window to get the job finished or you just got to start all over so i just went ahead and finished it up and uh if i don't like it if she doesn't like it then i'll just go back and do it but i'm not gonna stop halfway through just because of that so Hopefully, y'all like it. Hopefully, she'll like it. But anyway, let's go ahead and get to it. The um, gun that I'm working with is a 16-inch barrel, chambered at 5.56, AR-15, and I pieced together from a few different sources. And a little bit, and today I'm gonna be working with something called gun candy. It's basically like a additive that you can put in um, into a clear uh, clear coat, and it will give you like kind of like a reflective metallic type car finish uh you know i know i'm not doing it justice in describing it but it's basically a way a different uh technique of cerakote anyway so i'm gonna show you the before i'm gonna show you the after hopefully y'all think it's dope and hopefully she thinks it's dope I'm trying this new motion activated sensor here you know so <laughs> y'all rock with me wait this is what it looked like in the beginning after the gun candy finish. All right, so, so it started like. And here's the finished product. <clears throat> justice if I take it out here into the sun so y'all follow me I may go and change the accessories to all black instead of the purple just because I don't know if she's gonna like it this way or or not but I just figured that I show you how it turned out hopefully y'all think it's dope but uh, as you can see it's just a matter of taste you know whatever you like whatever you don't like do it <laughs> I think I like it better with the with the purple uh, bag in there. Of course, I'm gonna put an optic on there, nothing too fancy or whatever, because she don't really shoot it all that much. But it seems like it's okay. From what I, from my experience with it, it's not gonna you know it's not gonna shake loose or whatever based on the 5.56 recoil. I haven't really seen that being the issue, and she doesn't use it a whole lot. She definitely doesn't use it out in the woods. I think this will do for her. 
you. I might even use it too. But anyway, again, y'all tell me what you think. All right, y'all, once again, I appreciate y'all spending your time with me today. One thing I need for you to do before you leave, go ahead and make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. It definitely helps us with the channel. If you think of anything that you want me to do, any kind of colorways you think should be, you know, input into my next build. You know, you see I like doing things a little bit different. A little bit different. So if you can think of anything that you think would look dope that might, you know, help out with the channel or make some interesting viewing or reach out in the comments, reach out to the Instagram, it's listed below. But until next time, I'm going to show you what to do. Peace.